Welcome back. This is Joe Samo. Let's do four questions here. Try the first one on your own by hitting the pause button and we'll get back in a minute. I hope you tried it on your own. Let's do it together now. We have 150 total packages and some weigh one kilogram, some weigh two kilograms. The total weight of all of this is 264 kilograms. As you can see, we're gonna be able to set up two different equations. Let's let X equal the one kilogram packages and Y equal the two kilogram packages. We have X plus Y equals 150. And to calculate the weight, you would multiply one times however many one kilogram packages we have plus two times however many two kilogram packages we have. And the total of that, which would be one X plus two Y, has to equal 264. Now, let's look at our first equation where we have x plus y equals 150. If you move the y over by subtracting y to each side, you can get x equals 150 minus y. And now we can substitute that x equals 150 minus y where we see x. So we could put it here in that second equation. We will end up with 150 minus y plus y equals 264. And then the negative y and 2y uh, adds up to just plus y. So then we have 150 plus y equals 264. Subtract 150 to each side. We then get y equals 114. And uh, that's actually the answer because the call of the question was asking for how many two kilogram packages we have. So now we can, uh, but just for the heck of it, we could solve for the, the one package. Uh, we have x plus y equals 150. We could put in 114 for y, then we'd have uh, x plus 114 equals 150. Subtract 114 to each side, we can get x equals 36. If we wanna check our work, uh, we go to the x plus y equals 150, and we put in 36 for x and 114 for y, and indeed, 36 plus 114 does equal 150. And we could even check it with the weight. Uh, we have 36 one package, so that's 36 times one plus, 114 times the two package. So that would end up being 36 plus 114 times two, which is 228. And indeed 36 plus 228 does equal 264. So that whole equation number one checks out. Let's try this one. This is equation number two. Uh, hit the pause button, try it on your own and we'll circle back and do it together. I hope you gave it a try on your own. Now we're gonna do it together. We have 32 jugs, some are two liters, some are five liters, and uh, we have 100 liters total. Let's let X equal the two liter jugs and Y equal the five liter jugs. And we know the total is 32, so we can say X plus Y equals 32. And now with our 100 liters total of water, we can multiply two times the number of two liter jugs we have. So for example, if there was 15 two liter jugs, right? We'd obviously have 30 uh, total liters. Uh, and we could add that to five times the five liter jugs. Uh, and all of that will equal 100 uh, as we have 100 total liters of water. So now we have two equations and we have two unknowns. We have X plus Y equals 32 and we have two X plus five Y equals 100. Now we can do a couple ways. We can substitute it like we did the last one, or I'll show you a different method. If we take that top one and we multiply negative two to each side, we're gonna have negative two times X plus Y equals 32 times negative two. And then you distribute that negative two, you'll have negative two X plus negative two Y equals negative 64. And now you see if we line it up, we can get rid of the X unknown. Uh, so we could add up the 2x plus 5y equals 100 to negative 2x plus negative 2y equals negative 64. And when we line it up that way, we're allowed to add them all up. Uh, and as long as we add line them up that way, um, 2x plus negative 2x equals 0x and 5y plus negative 2y equals 3y and 100 minus 64 equals 36. Uh, so now we're gonna have 3y equals 36. We divide three to each side, we get y equals 12. Once we get y equals 12, we could figure out what x is. We have x plus y equals 32. Uh, we punch in 12 for y. We're gonna get x plus 12 equals 32, so x equals 20. 
just to check our work. Um, if we do the, obviously 20 plus 12 is 32, but if we check it the other way too, we have 20 times the two liter drug. So 20 times two plus 12 times five. Uh, so we'd have 40 liters from the two liter drugs plus 12 times five is 60. So we'd get 60 liters from the five liter drugs uh, and 40 plus 60 is 100. So that checks out as well. All right, try number three on your own. This is great for practice also. Uh, hit the pause button and we'll try it together. Let's, uh, let's try it together now. We have 20% are white marbles and 80% are blue marbles. And if we add 12 white marbles, we will equalize the amount of white and blue marbles. The first one is tricky. This 20% are white marbles and 80% are blue marbles. We have here a ratio of, uh, you know, the, there's four times as many blue marbles as white marbles. Now, to put this in an equation, it would be four times the white marbles equals the blue marbles. Now I have a lot of students that make a mistake here and what they do is they usually have like W equals four blue because they figure that there's more blue marbles. Now that's a mistake because there's less white marbles so you actually have to multiply the four to W not to B so that it could equal each other. So the first equation would be four W equals B. Now the next one we add 12 marbles to the white uh, now we're not adding 12 marbles to four times white. We're just adding 12 marbles to white. So it would be W plus 12 uh, as opposed to four W plus 12. So we have W plus 12 equals how many blue marbles we have. So now we have two equations, two equations and two unknowns. What I would do here is I would substitute and because we have both equations equal to B then it makes it even easier to substitute. So we have four W equals B and W plus 12 equals B. So we could just set those two equal to each other. We'd get four W equals 12 plus W uh, or W plus 12. Uh, and now we subtract W to each side. We would get three W equals 12 and then divide three to each side. We get W equals four. So if we have four white marbles, we multiply four times four. That means we had 16 blue marbles. Uh, and now let's just check our work. If, uh, if we had four white marbles and then we added 12, then we'd have 16 white marbles. And that's perfect because we have 16 blue mar marbles. So I was just uh, us checking our work there. Uh, the trick there was that, that little ratio deal in the beginning. Okay, now you're gonna try this one on your own and put the answer in the comments. Uh, this is a great one for practice. We have a rectangle of uh, 250 square centimeters and the height is 15 centimeters longer than the width. So give this one a shot on your own and give us the dimensions, put it in the comments. Feel free to subscribe to this page. I'm gonna keep making these math videos and uh, hope to see you soon.